All right, a little Google search tells me that the molecular orbital diagram for the hydrogen molecule is actually in high demand. So here we are. Each hydrogen atom only brings one electron with it, which hopefully you know, because hydrogen is the first uh, atom on the periodic table. And each of those electrons is found in a 1s atomic orbital. If you were to write the electron configuration for hydrogen, it would simply be 1s1. But come to think of it, I've never actually seen that written. Huh. You learn something new every day. Anyways, the 1s atomic orbitals of the two hydrogen atoms overlap with each other to create a bonding and antibonding molecular orbital. It has a lot to do with the math behind how we model the orbitals, but one way you can imagine this is that if you have two 1s orbitals, you could either add them together to make a big ellipse, or you could subtract them from each other and get, uh, well, not an ellipse. Uh, you'll get like kind of two circles that look like they fought each other for a while. Anyways, we have a bonding and antibonding molecular orbital, and we have to fill it from bottom up according to the Aufbau principle. We have two electrons total in the molecule, one from each H, one, two, and I'm done. This is a molecular orbital diagram for hydrogen. The end. You'll note that the bond order, which is the number of electrons in bonding or uh, molecular orbitals, one, two, minus the number of electrons in antibonding molecular orbitals, there's none there, divided by two, is one, meaning that the hydrogen molecule is held together with a stable single bond, which probably also is not a surprise to you if you've had any experience drawing Lewis structures. Lastly, because all of the electrons are paired up, this is a diamagnetic molecule. There are no unpaired electrons. There's only two electrons and they're paired. Cool? Cool. Well, there's your diagram. Best of luck to you.